Rosh Chodesh. So we were speaking about how the connection to the tzaddik is a great thing, and he helps you uplift yourself from uh, uh, lower the lower consciousness. I mean, we were speaking about also yesterday. Uh, you have to be in the higher consciousness, in the low, only in the lower consciousness. We said uh, to, to connect you to the rabbi is uh, also a great way to do this. But especially in Rosh Chodesh, Rosh Chodesh is a time where a person has to rejuvenate himself. We're starting a new month. And uh, the sages tell us that uh, we follow the month, the calendar based on the lunar calendar, the moon. And, uh, and uh, the, you know, the, the, we about to bless the moon and we go by the months, by the not 365 days, rather 354. And um, this, the lesson we're supposed to learn from this is that the, the moon is not always the same size. The moon is big one day, small one day. And the uh, Guim, they follow the solar calendar, 365 days a year. The, which re- represents, as Fatimid explains, which represents the Guim, they believe every single day has to be perfect and the same. I have to park in the right parking spot, I have to be in the work at this time, the gym this time, everything has to be smooth, I have my schedule, God forbid something should go out of order, just like the sun rises on the same side, is the same size more or less every day, and uh, sets on the same side every day. As opposed to the Jewish people, they follow the moon, and the moon doesn't always, uh, 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 it's not always the same size, it's not always, uh, uh, sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small, sometimes you feel in life also big, you feel uh, giving off a lot of light, sometimes you feel like a little banana, sometimes you feel like a very sliver, sometimes you feel like there's a new moon, right? You feel like there's no light coming out of you whatsoever. So therefore, first has to realize that when we, when we start the new month, we have all this in mind. That we don't get upset like the Goyim if things go wrong. We don't expect the same thing every day. We know one day we're going to feel good, one day we're going to feel down, one day it's going to go right, one day it's going to go wrong. But we have to be ready to accept this and, and, and be able to go with the flow, as they say, and, uh, and realize life is full of ups and downs. There's a, the, the, the Baalei Musar speak about how a person has Yemei Ava, Yemei Asina. A person has days of love, days where he's very into it and very uh, into the service of Hashem. And days where he's not so into it, days where he feels like, uh, I don't like all this, uh, I'm not connected to it, uh, it's not for me. And a person has to push through and realize that um, these days will pass. You know, you know, everybody has those off days. Sometimes they wake up on the wrong side of the bed. The person has to push through and do the minimum amount of what he's required. Do his basic necessities and push through and realize that he's going to be able to get chizuk. He's going to be able to wake up and be able to uh, start fresh. And that's exactly what the Rosh Chodesh is. Another uh, beautiful concept on, on the Rosh Chodesh is that, uh, is that uh, people love to start new. People start. Uh, people get excited when there's something new, right? So the, the, that's what Rabbi Menachem was always a, a big pioneer about, a big, big pro- proponent about, is always starting fresh. And he said he used to say that even if I would do the biggest sin, the biggest grech, the next day I would go back and serve Hashem 100 percent because why? I'll start over. I would start over. I would pretend. I would have. He says there's a very nice thing. Hashem made us a gift that we forget. Sometimes you don't want to forget material you learn, like door learning and important information. But it, it comes very handy when you there's things you're not supposed to remember. He says, what are you not supposed to remember? He says, you're supposed to forget what happened yesterday. Bad things that happened yesterday, you have to forget, right? You, 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 have, you have to forget. And therefore, what he says, even if you did the biggest biggest mistake yesterday, you have to forget, you have to forgive yourself, and you have to do Teshuvah and move on. And he says, he used to say, the way I was successful was, Rabbi Nachman said, I used to start over, even multiple times in one day. I would mess up, I would say, I'm starting over. Right now, I'm starting over, as if nothing happened, I'm starting fresh, and I'm going to be the best Jew I can be. Because many times, how does a person... Uh, 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 suffer and make himself not be the, the best person he could be he holds against himself all the things that he did before and he says how can I continue and what's going to be and how could it be that I messed up before and why didn't that work out and all these things questions questions and he bogs himself down and therefore he says that the person can just start over forget about everything if everybody's excited when you start fresh so start fresh all again start start brand new so start over and a person like this constantly will have Freshness constantly will be able to let the past go and be able to move on. And this is this is a very big uh, key to success. He gives is you always have to start over because in life when we start new things we get excited and then we get bored and that's the constant uh, 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 tr- uh, uh, struggle to constantly make things exciting for ourselves and motivated. So a person should start always start new, always start over. And uh, 
He says that the Rosh Chodesh is a prime time to do this. That a person should, you know, do a little bit of Chajwa Nefesh today and try to plan out and say, how can I make this month better? How am I going to start over? What am I going to work on? What am I going to focus on? In this way, a person uh, utilizes the day of Rosh Chodesh, which really is a day of, uh, of a holiday for the ladies. They, they, there's a mean hag to do melacha on this day. And uh, many people have Seudat Rosh Chodesh to, sh- to signify this holiday of gaining the spirituality of this concept of starting over. Baruch